What's up guys, this is the Rifle and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Denmark. It's going to run off where we left off. Uh, our small invasion force to go and recapture Iceland has been engaged by a significantly large um, British force. It's lots of chaff, um, but we are significantly limited, so I'm going to really need these houses to do work. So let's fight. Fortunately we do have we've got the Grenadiers and Marines, if they decide to rush us, which would help. Um, but we do need our artillery to do work and to be very, very, very useful. Otherwise, we will probably get swarmed and I will lose Danish Nelson. Okay, so I'm going to want to deploy back to take advantage of my firepower advantage. three units of line in the center Let's deploy the guns to be flat because I want to keep the BA oh because if I deploy them at an angle like immediately I'm starting to limit field of fire over here and considering the line is so large I think I need to go more flat and let's pick units for this flank, which I'll need to stretch out a bit more manually. Some more on this flank. Good. Cavalry on the left, because that's where the majority of... Well, that's my weakest point is. My general's bodyguard in the centre, but he will have to get into the mix. So let's crack on. And then it's immediately... Straighten out the ranks. Very nice of them to uh, be bunching up their forces. This might speed up time if they're just going to spend their time moving around. Target this cavalry unit, because then misses should hit the hit the um, militia conscripts. Like any short round should bash straight into them, which is actually pretty handy. We've not, like, we've not managed to kill any of the cavalry we were shooting at, but the marine, these militia, we've actually done some reasonable damage to. <gasps> Are you going to hand... Oh, please fill in that gap. That'd be great. We'll do need to keep an eye on how wide their line is getting. Well, that's nice of them to fill in that gap. Okay, we are doing some damage. The cavalry are a concern because they're going to force my infantry to go into square. God alive, that's a big line of troops. But is it, if we can start making them break, then we'll be on to a winner, I think. And right now, the balance of power is not in my favour, and I'm surprised I've not got the announcement for my general to say, Run! Run away! Run away! But we will not run, we will stand. I might actually aim for this this unit in the centre, actually. I think it's going to be inevitable that we're going to get rushed. They've just got so many troops that it's probably impossible that we're going to actually hold them off with firepower. But still, it's nice to see well, it's, this, these militia units are losing lots of troops. Okay, now they're on the march, so let's pick targets that are more... Let's keep my guns firing towards the centre, because these, these troops are actually are a bit further back. Lots of cavalry on the... There's two units on the left flank, one in the centre. But let's keep firing with the round shot. Killing the general would be handy... But not as useful, I think. Let's pull my cavalry back. See if we can entice their cavalry to spend themselves charging uh, infantry squares. That would be mo much useful. They have to target the yeomanry, especially as they're now starting to run in. Cannons to shot the yeomanry. It's 
their cavalry that's yeah they, their cavalry can provoke me to form square and then infantry to form square. Pull my cavalry back, get these guys to keep firing round shot in the centre. Bring my general over here ready to support that flank in case the cavalry kicks off. These guys are going to these guys are going to rotate so they don't get shot on the flanks as badly. Cavalry's going in so I'm going to commit my other cavalry to hit the yeomanry. You keep firing in the centre, because if you can break the centre, I can split my line up into more of a V formation like so. So we will have depleted their square, depleted their cavalry from our square. We are winning against their yeomanry. I don't want to move my guys out of square. I want to send my general in. Okay, let's pull my cavalry out. Let's get him out of square, let's reform my line. To be honest, my cavalry might just have to fight. They're significantly outnumbered, but I don't want to send my general in. They're not in a good spot for my canister shot to do any use either. These guys need to start firing at canister and rapidly. So I think they're going to make a charge. We need to do some quite significant damage. Good, that's exactly what we want to see. Routing. Oh, my, my cavalry is routing, so over here has become incredibly significantly weaker. Hopefully they'll come back. There's only, they've only lost 20 or so men, so it's possible they will return. Form this company into square. Come back. Good job, these are marines. There's no use firing on them with my artillery. So let's pump all the centre. My cavalry's gone back in against to them. Yep, this flank's routing. Or is in the process of routing. If I barrage, I'd be abusing it significantly. Shoot. They can make that route perfect. The cross is advancing in. I want to. Sh I need to shatter their flank over here. Shatter this unit of conscripts. I need to risk my general. I should win this battle here. Um, these guys, those conscripts are a risk. These guys are being picked apart, these marines. Okay, fall back. Keep the canister shot going. Let's charge these guys. Oh, come on, so I need to do this suitably. Okay. So run my infantry on to them. Actually, no, one of my infantry go to them. You charge them. You 
bring down this militia conscript and I need to initiate my cavalry to start chasing down these units to make sure they do well. So what I don't want is them coming back. My gunners are going to get involved in something a bit sporty. But I need to win on this flank. Turn it. Oh, my line infantry are not doing well. I need to hold them up so they don't do as much damage to my cavalry. To be honest, I might just get my cavalry out now. My marines will be more than enough against the conscripts. Okay, well, it looks like they're starting to make a move. So, cavalry. Hit this unit of conscripts. General, hit this unit of conscripts, otherwise, my. this line of machine units are about to die. Conscripts, so you're being shot on the flanks, so you get involved in the battle. Round shot. Which was the need. Oh yeah, my these my units are routing, so that's not good for them. My Militia conscripts, just my, my um, marines, just need to do as much damage as they possibly can. This goes for a canister shot with conscripts and my routing units. This could easily form into a chain. I don't think my marines are going to be able to hack it. Okay, let's immediately put these guys to work, trying to roll up this flank. You need to hold them off. So you charge into them. Ignore the general's fight. Yeah, I think we're just, I think this is gonna be a gonna be the death of this fleeting army although it depends how this yeah I think ultimately it was a bit inevitable we had or maybe not there's still a reasonable chunk of line I'm sure are you going on them Conscripts getting shot in the my marines are getting shot in the back by yeah, So we're starting to our guys are starting to waver. If we don't get these infantry in to support them quickly. Charge the gunners with my marines, because we're not. going to be the final defeat of the Danish forces in this area. 
ever fear, however, we will be back. Yeah, that's the end of them. <laughs> May as well let them fight on. Won't be long till they route. To be honest, they're shooting their own guys now. Yeah, there they go. So they're probably going to chase us down. Valiant defeat. They will chase us down, and but we do have a full Danish stack ready to invade. And to be honest, we might even be able to recover that those troops with my forces at sea. So all is not lost. Defeat in Iceland is not super critical to our campaign's success. Especially as now we have um, we have a competent navy and we have a good defence network built up to protect our interests uh, on the continent. We're concerned. We're in good relations with the Russians. We're in good relations with our European allies. We would like to garrison that fort near Finland. However, um, but that can come in time. Right now, our focus is to bring democracy to the British Isles. True democracy, Danish democracy. The Swedes are managing to hold on for their lives. Which is to be expected. It's their last region. I think we're still on good terms with Hanover. Besides which, even if we weren't, we could hold them off from attacking our capital by holding the sea crossing with our navy. The Portuguese are arming up, but I hope they're not arming up to go after me. The Barbary States are going to be the are going to do the Barbary States thing. At least they're far enough away from me. They'll pilfer a bit of my trade, and they're more than more than welcome to. I am not going to. I am not going to go too overboard in trying to make sure that they. If they got like a base of operations. That would be an interesting. Route to take. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Okay, don't worry about that. So let's attempt to recover them. Ah, oh, my general died. Oh yeah, he died during the battle, didn't he? Silly me. Let's try recover them because we can at least we can at least rebuild. Let's get into Bergen. My rake's on the move. Garrison of Copenhagen gets replenished. The navy disembarks their troops. Just disband the general's bodyguard. I'll actually, I may as well combine them just to try and maintain a stronger unit. Then let's replenish. Oh, which was the ship that did not do any sailing. Investigate Edinburgh. Edinburgh is ripe for the taking. So let's get him back into port, somewhere a bit more useful, such as Mau Mau, to help garrison. At the same time, recruit some... recruit some line, a couple of units of fusiliers and a gun, and a unit of hussars. To form the core of another army. Then over here, let's send some conscripts forward to man the fort. Like, as these guys recruit, we'll send them forward. So, this army, board, Frederick Carlson, number aboard, uh, Johan Lindgren, with everyone barring one fifth rate, sail. Nope. <gasps> See, I thought this might happen. Okay, so instead... Is this... Are they embarked on, like... The, oh, sorry, the, that one unit I didn't bring. They were all on that one ship, were they? Somewhat anticlimactic. Well, Fredrikshaven, you are still able to get there. Then my navy will Pfft, 
Wow. Um, I will attack Edinburgh right now. I just want to watch these chaps. And I might actually send Johan Lindgren to go and blockade Greenwich. Let's bring the naval fight to the British. Then let's take my fourth rate to our tombs. Sloops are okay. So you can you can still just do fifths. So my my uh, fishing port, my major fishery, can still recruit better quality ships than my naval port. Okay, so you're going for socket bayonet. It's not a terrible idea. Upsala, you're going for more farming. It might be worth trying to go for spinning jenny because one turn it's a quick win. Textile wealth for one turn. But let's take this army. And one well, gonna auto that because it's just three line infantry units. So Edinburgh is ours. But how long will they give us before the British armies attack? surge up from London. To be honest, London has no garrison, but it feels unbefitting to hit, hit London straight off the bat. I'm going to assume Greenwich will, this army at Greenwich will immediately start to march northward in, a, in an attempt to respond to my threats. Got Scotland. Our tech's going. If I do any more trade. Nope. And my ministers are all fairly decent. I can't like manually bring them in. I mean, I think I'm as good as the justice. Okay, let's try punt this chap out. Oh god, we didn't get the guy I wanted, but we've got a guy who's really good. Brilliant, he's only 33 as well, so he'll be here for the long haul. Awesome. Let's hit N10. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, we've been engaged by a fairly weak fleet. Uh, I mean, we've not got the best fleet, but we've got a good mix. We're equal. I think we're going to fight the Battle of Greenwich. If we lose, my fleet's destroyed because I'm trapped into shore. And my concern is, if we have a navy at Portsmouth, if we are, I will retreat. Fourths up front. With my fifths. Bring up the rear. Then let's sail over to here. Let's sail like, probably like this, maybe. Let's speed up time. Because they do have heavy, heavy ships. They do have some forts, but they are damaged. War galleons might be useful. I think I would probably use those to send to the trade theatres because it feels a bit more um, themey, thematic. The war galleons do have sixty guns a pop. Well, some of them do. But I think we may take some losses. But I think in the end, we will prevail. Let's sneak towards them a little bit more. And this time, their manoeuvrable ships, we can equal. Particularly as some of them were already destroyed. They've not done a good job in maintaining the readiness of the fleet. There's, there's a there's not a risk they may peel south to get some early shots against my lead ships but that's that's fine so the leading war galleons are actually in reasonable shape to be honest their first rate their, their proper ships are in pretty good nick so it's going to be use of our yeah there they go it would be useful if I could cut their line they may cut ours but it would be more advantageous to us I think in the long run if they did that okay so we're starting to get first ships off against the war galleon our first fourth rate is going to get pummeled somewhat but that's 
fairly inevitable. Okay, I might have to do this. Sales to get absolutely shredded. No lucky masts. Your firing chain. You are also going to fire chain into the shell into the Hunt of Vengeance. Also into Hercules as well. Chain shot for the left, but a brown shot for the right. It's a brown shot for the new chaps. It's a brown shot for you. Sitting. Bars getting a bit of a pummeling. You will also be getting raped by vengeance, there's not a whole lot I can do about it. fire but I need you to shoot into the galleon to at least try to slow it down. Maybe slow the, the other side down. Round sharp. Yeah put the fire out. Oh, yeah my ship my leading element is getting an absolute pummeling. You might stay as a chain shot based on coming in to sail. Break up the formation, I need them just to get I need these guys to get moving. You guys need to come back around. Because the crux of it is that we're suffering like our heavy elements have been separated too easily. So let's get sailing. Get you to target this ship. Get you to target this ship. It's a fourth rate, it is a fourth rate. Change to chain, just because they've unfilled their sails. to head south. Let's get you guys to start to head northwards. God, my ships have... When you set these guys to do proper orders, they get really funky. We need to shift forward if you can do it useful. Reload. 
local side. Watching for any red broadside markers. Your broadside is ready. Chain shot to fire into the lead elements of their ships. Dr. Julian is looking very unhealthy. These guys aren't doing too much useful stuff, so probably in the long run start to hit that way. into the Master Fairfield, that's my only real hope there. Ship still has a good broadside in it. I think I may have to beat a retreat. Maybe. Just because my utter incompetence in naval tactics is starting to shine. Diana's going to waver. I might try pull everyone back. I might try to retreat. So we're going to get some victories maybe at the back of the column, but. Their war galleons are just even though they're even though they're damaged, they're good enough. Hey, you returned. Wait. Yeah. Just you came back just long enough to give me hope. Right, these are more of my weaker elements in the mix. Southern element first, so I think I might just. I think I might. Yeah, I'm gonna pull back. Pull back, pull back, pull back. And that 
it's going to be a bit dodgy because eh, the northern wing might escape. and get one ship to tie up a bunch of theirs and allow the rest of my fleet to escape. Yeah, so he's going to route, but he slowed them down. Oh no, Bornholm is sinking. I think they've got the better of this for now. Yeah, this just goes to show I definitely need a decent navy in order to have any sort of uh, parity. Just because my naval tactics are rubbish. But I think we will successfully escape. So I'm not going to have much of a navy left. Which is you've surrendered. You're probably going to surrender based on the fact that you're very, very slow. These chaps, however, are going to fall back. So we're going to have to immediately begin to rebuild our navy. And I suspect they're probably not going to reinvest in making these ships... getting these ships uh, in good shape. Why, have you, yeah, why did you come back? I didn't click to make you come back. They're not scallywags. Is this the end of the map? I think so. Just surrender. Decisive, very decisive defeat, to be honest. <laughs> the first episode of this playthrough is definitely going to be... Oh, it doesn't even matter because we're going to die. Well, the Danish will return. Especially when we conquer your smelly little island, Britain. But it just goes to show how important, for me personally, uh, advances in naval tech are. On land, I feel super, I feel pretty confident. Let's see, uh, not so much. Not without uh, my faith. I'm sure many of you are watching that thinking, oh Jesus Christ. You know, he is absolutely rubbish at naval battles. Yeah, yeah I am. <laughs> the auto resolve probably would end up being a better decision more often. Obviously it depends. I think probably my strategy of just having two, having having just one massive line ends up producing too much inflexible firepower. Like they can they can chop up my line as it arrives, and it becomes trickier for me to actually bring my guns to bear. So the immediate priority would be to build a naval building in Stockholm. No, Copenhagen. Yeah, yeah, Stockholm start to unlock next tier naval tanks and then upgrade my dockyard in Malmo spinning jenny good for a turn let's upgrade the naval board so upgrading the dockyard this unlocks it doesn't unlock no it does unlock four three it ships of the line bomb catches so let's do that you're replenishing, and your the city is safe. You're replenishing, so I suppose my next objective is to do this. Let's so repair the army at Edinburgh, replenish my troops, and then probably march south. Recruit a smash. Let's have a little peek. So there are no forces in Ireland. It doesn't look like they're recruiting anything. But I probably want to march south. And put pressure on the British. Commercial ports have kicked in. Can't recruit any decent ships. Okay, so who do we want to send us? Well, we want to get a spy in the centre of Europe to have a look at what's going on. The Russians have got this army to siege, but if they don't capture it this turn. This army, and not just anyone, 
Prince. Oh, I thought it was Rasputin at the end. Prince Anikita Ivanovich Rep Repnin. He is about to get reamed by Agnar Arvidsson if he's not too careful. Good at garrisoning Fort Gorilla. But the good terms of Russia, at least if we're allied with Russia. But I think I'm going to end this turn. Yeah, you thought I was going to say end part. I'll end part at the end of this end turn, depending on what happens. So I'm fairly sure that army's probably heading... The army that was in Greenwich is heading north against me. Which I hope it is. I want to replenish my army in Scotland, start to recruit a garrison just in case they send some troops from um, Ireland or bring in take London, then take Ireland, uh, or, or dominate the Americas, let it get blown wide open, create the United States about 69 years too early. So I'm making a decent amount of money, and if I can get the the town income from London, then god damn, I'll be unstoppable. Then my interest would be to start to expand my colonies. Let's sail over and start taking some of the northern territories in North America. But it would be fast. I think the 13 colonies may just become the United States instantly, the whole lot. So we may have created an immediately powerful faction in North America. But that's okay. We'll go in there and start plucking out the eyes of the dead British colonial corpse. Particularly because this campaign has no, uh, has no funky objectives. Like, there's no prerequisite for me to expand in Europe. There is a port in this region that has not yet been developed. Select the type of port. You have roads. Yeah, you got metal roads. Oh yeah, there is a road going there. Okay. Upgrade. Management's ongoing, but let's march south. Just to gain visibility of what's going on. Let's recruit some fusiliers. Actually, now I need. Let's recruit three units of line, two fusiliers. Back here in Europe, well not in Europe, the Baltic, start chaining up some 438 ships of the line, ready to rebuild some sort of grand fleet. And let's also upgrade Parliament Chamber. Some stuff. And have I got another unit of conscripts? I do. Garrison the fort. Yep, that should be. That's enough for now. Pleasure Garden is upgraded. Commercial Port is upgraded. I, I'm marginally concerned why I can't see their army. I'm assuming it's gone to. It's gone into London. I'm assuming. all my recruitment cool but looking at the timer i think that's the time to end the part so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed this one's been a bit been a bit naff overall for the empire of denmark but we will prevail so thanks for watching guys hope you've enjoyed and i'll see you next time